As for now, you can use your Apple Silicon M1 Mac to run natively Node and all Node-related apps like Angular, React Native, React JS, uh, Vue, and so on. Let's get started. First of all, you need to know how to use basic commands, and sometimes you cannot use uh, the recent version because of some libraries, rebuilt uh, binaries. So you need to install NVM in order to install different versions of NPM and Node and to build it for your ARM processor. And if you install it by default, it installs the latest version of NPM, which is not usually what you need, because you need to install 12th version of NPM, or Node actually. And uh, after you install it, you need to make it uh, by default, to, to make this version as a default version. As you see, if I run NVM list, uh, now I have a default version as Node 12. Then you can test your Angular app, and to install Angular, you need to install it globally. To create an Angular Hello World project, I'll run this command, ng new and test. Then you switch to this directory and you serve it. Then after you run ng-serve, you can open your browser and it works. The next step is to test your Vue.js project. First you need to install Vue, the latest version available. And after you installed it, you need to create a Hello World project by running this view create all world command. Then you use view CLI uh, to use view 2 because view 3 is quite new still. And then after you successfully run it, you can, you can see view 3 actually. It still works. Uh, it worked as I know. Yeah. As I remember. And then you, after you open your browser, and you can build that project where you can write, run uh, that project. And then the real world view project is Tic Tac Toe, which is called Tic Tac View anyway. And it works as you see. Let's test React. React.js is a little bit cumbersome because you need to switch to node version 14 at least because it doesn't run with node 12. I already tested. And after you run it, uh, you can create it uh, by running apx and it runs. Uh, the next step, I want to show a real world app uh, that is running React.js. Uh, as you see, it runs, you can test it. You just download from the link below, uh, previous link that I showed on the screen and then you just test it. It, it should work. I want to test Ionic app because it's more than just a JavaScript application. It's something related to iOS and Android development and I want to test it by simply running this command and then after you installed it, I'm using Capacitor. You can use Cordova as well, but it's a little bit harder. You need to download a already pre-existed project. It will be better. So I'm using a uh, capacitor here. As you see, I'm already created a project folder and I'm running this build command for iOS and it will open Xcode for the next step. In as you see, after you open Xcode, you can just simply run it and you don't need to change anything like in Flutter or another React native. You just run it and it will work uh, essentially quite easy to run and everything you need you have by default so you don't really need to change anything. It runs in both uh, orientations, uh, portrait mode and uh, landscape mode. That's it. Thanks for watching. That was about how to run your Node.js projects, especially React.js, uh, Vue.js, Ionic apps and uh, Angular projects using your Apple Silicon and One Mac. Thanks for watching. And the last step is I want to describe for for those in China like me 
in case you need uh, to install using local libraries, you can use cnpm instead and to point it to the local repositories because sometimes it could be difficult in China and it's better to use both versions just in case. Yeah, who knows, maybe you're the same guy who lives in China like me. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Mm -hmm.